So ESPN.com uh, has a stat to know about each of the matchups. Uh, the one um, about Cleveland here, uh, the game with Minnesota. Cleveland tied atop the NFL with Carolina in pass rush win rate, 58.4%. Um, and that kind of goes back to what we've been talking about. Um, even if there aren't sacks, uh, you want to move Kirk Cousins, make him uncomfortable, make him throw even before he's ready to, or get into the passing lanes, do, do those kind of things. Yeah, and that was especially huge because, you know, again, we've talked in the past where, you know, the blitz rates, they, they weren't necessarily super high for Joe Woods, maybe playing a little more conservative, but at the same time, even last week, you saw some blitzes, but at the same time, it was more so about the guys up front actually winning those pass rushes. And that's the difference that we see. You know, uh, go back to the Super Bowl this past year. How was Tampa Bay able to win? It wasn't because they were blitzing more. It was because they had their four-man rush up front able to win against the Kansas City offensive line. So that's where the Browns are trying to get more wins this season, especially. And it seems like they're doing so thus far. You know, you have Malik McDowell, Malik Jackson in the middle. You have Jadavian Clowney on the outside. You have Miles Garrett, obviously. He's a force, four and a half sacks last week. But again, it's about creating that pressure without necessarily having to send the added blitzers at that point. So then it keeps the offense on their toes for that extra blitzer. And at the same time, you're creating that same amount of pressure without necessarily having to send as many guys up front.